Hey everyone, RJ here with CV Tech, and today I will be doing a speed test comparison between this LG Stylo 4 and the LG Tribute Dynasty. Which one will come out on top? Let's find out in this comparison. So we'll get in with this uh, speak test comparison starting now. That's about even. Let's go into YouTube. That was the Tribute Dynasty. Let's go into Calculator. That was the Stylo 4. Calendar. That was the Tribute Dynasty. Clock. That was the Tribute Dynasty. Google Plus. And that was the Tribute Dynasty. Let's go into the camera. Oh, so a whole lot faster there on the Tribute Dynasty starting up the camera. Let's go into Amazon Shopping. Uh, Amazon, uh, Tribute Dynasty got it there once again. Let's go into Instagram. That was the Tribute Dynasty. Let's go into the Play Store. LG Stylo 4 took it. Let's go into settings. Stylo 4. Let's go into Snapchat. That was really close, but Stylo 4 had it, but barely. Let's go into Twitter. So the Tribute Dynasty took it there. Netflix. Ooh, so the Tribute Dynasty dominated that one there. Temple Run 2. So this hair should be very, very close. Very interesting here on Temple Run. Uh, we've got to wait and see what happens here. But I do believe it will be the Stylo 4 that starts up first. But only probably by like a second. So uh, very close together there. As you can see, opening up both of these apps here. Let's go ahead and go into Subway Surfer, and we'll see what happens. So both of these phones here are really nice. The Tribute Dynasty is kind of like, you know, just a smaller version of the Stylo 4 without the stylus pen and a smaller display. No fingerprint scanner, but a whole lot cheaper. So this is going to be a neck and neck here. It's going to be super close, and that was, oh, so so close with the stylo 4 just barely barely took that there and we'll go into dead trigger here and see which one opens up first both begin to be a little bit slower there uh, a little bit of a glitch there on the start on the tribute dynasty so i expect it to be open first on the stylo 4 and it was so let's go ahead and go back home here so as you can see uh it was kind of like back and forth there on the apps but both of them are very very similar together uh, only like like a millisecond behind on Subway, uh, maybe a second behind on Temple Run 2, and it was a little bit of a glitch there. I may actually restart uh, Dead Trigger here because for some reason there was like a little glitch here in the Tribute Dynasty. So we'll go ahead and start over Dead Trigger again at the same time now, and we will see if it does make any difference, which it may not, as you see in right there, that the Tribute Dynasty is going to be a bit slower and actually the tribute dynasty outdone it while the stylo 4 is hung up so there you go you're gonna have just you know on and off experiences here with both of these devices both of them are very solid though and let's go ahead and play a little bit of dead trigger here on both just to see you know how it does look here on but if i can get it to focus in here there we go so we'll go ahead and play for a moment here so moving around very smooth the screen is amazing on this device if i haven't mentioned it before um honestly uh pretty smooth typical little glitch there but no no big deal uh but in gameplay it does seem to be very good seems to function very well i will also do a gaming test on the stylo 4 here as well uh but yeah as you see right there it is holding its own uh, very well 
uh, on Dead Trigger, as you can see right there, just going through these zombies here, mowing them down, and all that kind of good stuff. So now, we'll take a look here at the Tribute Dynasty. And wait for it to load up here as well. So, taking its time here. Go ahead and heal. About the same smoothness here as the Stylo 4. I mean, honestly, running the same RAM, running the same processor, running about the same everything. I expect the quality to be about the same uh, actually here on both of these devices. So, yeah. I mean, it's what it is, you know. Both of them work very well. Both of them are very, you know, decent performing devices. Screen looks good on both. You know, of course, you do got to deal with half of the internal storage here on the Tribute Dynasty. Then you do here on the LG Stylo 4. But you know it is what it is. So we'll go ahead and run through a few of these apps here to see what's open in the background. How long it takes for them to start having to reload apps. So... Just going to run through a few of these here. So both of these here were open there. Temple Run um, actually had already open. Had to reload there on the Stylo 4. Uh, Netflix open. Had to reload. Uh, Twitter already open. Already open there. Let's go into Snapchat. Both of them were open. Let's go into Settings here. Having reload on both Play Store, reload on both Instagram, reload on both Amazon Shopping, reloading on both. So now we're seeing reloads now on basically every app that we are opening here. So already open there, had to reload here on the Tribute Dynasty. So honestly, you seen the test, both seem to do very well against each other. Both have two gigabytes of RAM. Both running the same MediaTek processor. 130 at Walmart. 200 at Boost Mobile when it releases. $50 at BoostMobile.com. Walmart is also selling it for around 50 bucks as well. So, if you want a smaller, more compact phone with the same performance, add the stylo. If you don't care about the pen or the fingerprint scanner or the screen size, I mean, this phone here almost tripled the price of the Tribute Dynasty. So. That's just my little speed disk comparison here between those two. If this was helpful in the form of any at all, hit that like button. Any questions you may have, leave it below. And I'll get back with you as soon as possible. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I'd appreciate it. Y'all have a good one and thank you for watching.